and welcome to a Cooking with Linux Quickie. This is Marcel Gagne, and uh, this is a video response, actually. It's a little bit of a tutorial, but it's also a video response. Does anybody still do video responses? Is that still a thing on YouTube? I remember when that used to be a thing on YouTube. Anyway, I digress. This is for uh, Jay from LearnLinux.tv, who asked me in a comment how it is that I do the webcam. And uh, the webcam, of course, is... Uh, let me transition over to this one over here. And uh, if all goes well here, and I minimize this window, you're going to see me still staring out from the middle of the screen, even though I've got my OBS window shrunk down there. I popped the OBS window back up. Anyway, um, as you know, as anybody who's watched a few of these knows, I use uh, open broadcaster software, OBS Studio, to do these things. And uh, basically, I've got a pretty simple setup in terms of how I record these things because you know I'm a simple guy. What can I say? Anyway, uh, but I have two scenes. I have I have the scene which is uh, which is the one without the webcam in other words if i were to you know move this like uh oh, i don't know way off the screen there we go we'll minim we'll make it really 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 tiny there we'll 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 shrink this down to to something barely seeable and if i go over to if i transition to the scene without the webcam the webcam shows up in the window over here in the obs studio window but it's not on the screen here at all when we go back and we take a look at it okay so now the idea of course is well how do we get the, how do we get the webcam in there well we get the webcam in there by creating a um a scene so i'm going to create another scene here which i'm going to call uh uh, Jay, because you know he's uh, Jay's the one who asked about it. So we're going to call this one Jay. And Jay at the moment is just an empty screen. There is nothing to see. And in fact, if I transition to it, uh, you should actually be looking at a blank screen at the moment. I'm not looking at it myself. I can still see the OBS window, but it should be a blank screen. So let's go back up to transition. And there we go. We've got my scene, uh, my empty scene over here. And now I need to populate this particular scene over here. And I need to populate it with, um, with something for you guys to look at. I could make it the entire screen with the screen capture here. And I could just call this everything. And if I make this everything, I go like this. Oh, the name is already in use. All right, let's let's call it um, let's call it all of it. There we go, all of it. There we go. So we've got all of it, and we, now we've got this this cool um, you know infinite mirror sort of thing happening. I love that. I love that. Okay. So now we've got a screen. We've got something to take a look at. But we could have defined a different uh, a different thing here. Uh, let me go back to um, which scene are we at here? Let me go back to make sure that we're actually on the proper scene, so that you're not looking at a blank screen. For all I know, you've been looking at a blank screen the whole time. Um, but uh, if I go back and I take a look here, and I go to where it says all of it. All right, and hopefully I haven't transitioned to it at this point because that would be bad. Uh, but I go over to all of it and uh, let's just actually remove that one, shall we? Yes, we want to remove it. Okay, so now I'm going to add something slightly different. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to say um, I want to capture a specific window. All right, and now what I can do is I can say uh, I want to capture a particular window. I'm going to say add existing. Uh, no, actually, um, yeah, add existing and Oops, sorry, create new, okay. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm, as my source, I'm going to take OBS Studio. There we go. So OBS Studio is my source. And now if I transition from the window that I've got over to this one, um, you should be looking at a big screen with nothing but OBS Studio on it. In other words, uh, my cool background with the waterfall that you're not seeing at the moment uh, will have vanished. In fact, let's go back to the waterfall there so that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this window or sorry or this particular scene only has a particular window so if i wanted to create a video where i concentrated on a particular window and i did not want you to take a look at the rest of the screen this is how i would do that one all right so let's get rid of that let's get rid of that again so I'm, oops let's get rid of that again i'm going to say minus over here and i'm going to go back to a full screen again okay so we're still looking at we're, we're still in the hopefully in the correct transition here and I'm going to go back to this source and I'm going to add or this scene and I'm going to add the source of the full desktop. OK, so we're going to say uh, video capture. Whoops. Cancel. Cancel. Uh, we're going to say uh, video uh, screen capture the entire thing. So I'm going to call it all of it too on the off chance that it remembers what I did. There we go. OK. So now we've got the whole screen. So your question was, how do I get the webcam in there? Well, I get the webcam in there like this, okay? I go video capture device, V4L2, and I'm gonna call that my webcam. 
my webcam, which is the one that's on the computer. So again, that's, that is uh, the high definition webcam. Now, you are not seeing this here. Typically, there would be a test window that shows up here. And the reason you're not seeing it is because it's already captured by the application. Unlike the screen, which can be shared, this doesn't, the, the camera can't be shared uh, across multiple, uh, multiple scenes. And uh, I'm just going to say OK, but I'm going to show you how that worked over here by going to the video capture device. And um, oops, that's not what I want. I mean, I could have just done it that way, but let's go to properties. And as you can see, when I go into properties, there's the webcam in the properties over there. OK, so now I'm looking at the camera. That's you over there, camera. Anyway, um, so I'm going to click OK there and I've done the same thing over there. So there you go. So I've got two things. I've got all of it, too, in this case, which is the entire desktop. And I've got my webcam, which is the V4 L2 device. And that, that, that is how you do that thing. Oh, right. One more thing. One more thing before I before I forget. Um, usually I've got the uh, the webcam window is just a little thing in the bottom corner here. Uh, take a look at the red lines around the outside of the camera here or of the uh, webcam portion. If you grab one of those corners, you can shrink that down to something that you can live with. And then you can just drag that wherever it is that you want on the screen. OK. All right. That's how I do that part. That's how you do that thing. And I'm going to just transition over to it one more time and say, um, I hope that helps. I hope that uh, that uh, you've got the answer that you were looking for there. And that's the end of my video response. This is Marcel again. If you like what I'm doing here, you know how it works. Subscribe, leave comments, uh, thumbs up, share with people, all that sort of stuff. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, yeah, this is where I close the, this is where I close the little webcam thing. There we go. Gone.